Hey guys, thank you for coming back to my channel and uh, looking at another one of my videos. It always means so much to me. The last video, I got like such a good reaction. The best vibes, which is really nice because like I'm a kind of like a good vibes only person. I have a shirt that says like your vibe attracts your tribe. Vibe is important and like the vibe you guys were bringing was so good what is like the best possible vibes possible and I was like it's my dog I love you you're so cute you're so cute I love my dog and so I just thought like it would be like a nice vibe if I had my dog with me today and so like I will just like you won't be able to see it but I'll be able to see it and like that will be like a nice vibe anyway since the last video uh, I've been getting like a lot of like questions like you guys really like got into the comments and were like asking me Patricia like you know what is your skincare routine tell us more about your cat eye look some of you guys might be like you know wondering about the look that I'm wearing right now very simple like around the house kind of quarantine look not like gonna be out like trying to meet a guy hanging with my girls my gal pals gonna make a tutorial about it gonna make it gotta make it basically I know like the number one thing that you guys have commented and requested is like you guys want to know my nighttime routine life is not all about putting makeup on it's also about taking makeup off I think that's like one of the great metaphors in life is that it's like you know we want to just put makeup on but it's just as important to take it off take good care of our skin and stuff especially like my skin because like my skin looks like such shit all the time and I I like really it's like so disgusting if you don't treat something well it's not gonna like love and respect you and I want my skin to like take care of me so I have to take care of it and that's just like how I'm keeping my skin cute today I'm so excited just like over the moon ah! It's gonna be so good. I am spazzing out right now. Like, oh my God. I'm gonna share my nighttime routine with you guys. Yay. Routine. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and like get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna need is baby wipes. These are baby wipes. Some girls or like people, whatever, will tell you like, oh, you have to use like makeup remover. And I'm like, girl, no, you don't. If it's good enough for a baby, it's definitely good enough for me. I love babies. Babies are so totes adorbs. I see a little baby and I'm like, mm -hmm. I love babies. Baby. <gasps> hey, baby. Oh my God. I want a baby. Like put a baby in me. Don't like really don't like I have a plan for that. Like a secondary plan, like a plan B for that because I can't have a baby right now, but I love babies. So yeah, like baby wipes work great to take off your makeup. And that's going to be like the first step. This is like a several step process to like really fully, you know, treat my skin the way it needs to be treated and like set the foundation of cuteness. I'll take out this like wet baby wipe. I usually like to start with the lips. Like I end with the lips when I put makeup on. So I like to start with the lips when I take it off. Full circle, wax on, wax off, like lips on, lips off. And girl, you know, you better put those lips on. Don't get me started on that again. So let's just Start by like taking off the lips and like, you know, you can just like bite down on it, you know, like pretend it's like being naughty. Mm. So like that like really gets it off nicely and I have like a lipstick, a liner and a gloss on right now. So it's like a lot because lips are important. Hashtag lips are important. Hashtag lips are important. Please don't forget it. You don't want to get baby wipe in your mouth, which is what I just did because it like tastes like alcohol, not like nice alcohol, like drinking Burnett's lemon vodka in your college dorm room without a chaser alcohol. Like, ugh. <laughs> you know, I'm living my best life now. Haven't always been. So now we can like move on to like the foundation and the eyes. So I'm just gonna like, you know, kind of clear the rest of my face. I always leave the eyes to last. So cute right now. So cute right now. Anyways, like I'm definitely going to leave the eyes for a little bit later. So I'm just going to 
Oh, oops. I just went for the eyes. I said I was going to leave them for later. Oh my God. I am such a spaz right now. Like, <laughs> Patricia, get it together. You're like filming a tutorial like YouTube is watching. Honestly, I find this like so like meditative and like just nice. Like I love like my nighttime routine. I think routine is important in life, especially like in these crazy times, you know, like routine is important. It's important to like have the little things that keep us sane and like remind us, you know, like put a little bookmark at the end of the day. And for me, that's my nighttime routine. And like, hopefully maybe it can be for you as well. So I think I've like used this one up. So like, bye. I would never do that in the real world. Cause like littering is so gross. Don't litter. Like don't be a litter bug. It's like as lame as Facebook, like lame. Now I'm going to like really circle in around the eyes. Work bottom up. Like, do you put your shirt on before your pants? No. All right, we've like nicely gotten the bottoms pretty cleared up, which means we just like have the tops and our eyelashes, which are like my least favorite. I hate pulling on my eyelashes, just like ugh, gross, you know, but have to do it, like have to get those eyelashes clean. I know some girls are like, you know, just like leaving soldiers behind, just like letting their lashes be goopy all night, which I think is disgusting. I mean, I don't want to like be dragging other girls, but like that's gross. Get it together. I'm not into it. I definitely use like two to three wipes minimum. They're not that expensive and it's like an investment in self. This is self care. It might as well be like a tax write off. And now we're like looking fresh. Okay, Patricia, like we have the makeup off now. So are we done? Is this tutorial over? <laughs> Girl, please. Okay, we still have so much to do. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just to take a spoon, just like a normal spoon, like that you could find in your kitchen that you would use to like eat Ben and Jerry's or like what, like soup or something. I just like to like lightly tap the bags under my eyes with the backside of the spoon. I, I find it really, really helpful. And that's like one of my best beauty tips and tricks that like people, I feel like I don't hear other girls talking about doing that. And like, maybe it's just cause it's like, you look stupid, like hitting yourself in the face with a spoon. But girl, trust me, like this shit works. Just like, just like this. Um, and I find that that helps the swelling go down and it just like keeps things like nice and tight and like not saggy and old and gross. Like no offense to old people, like much respect, but like I'm young and I want to look young. Oh my God. I already feel like the bags like going down. I love it. I love it. I am here for it. Step number two is just a real quick, you know, spoon to the face. The next part is possibly the most important step of the routine. Obviously, you had avocado toast at some point today because like I always have avocado toast every day and like I'm guessing you do too if you're cute and you're watching my tutorial. I fucking, I live for avocado toast. Avocado toast is the best. I just like save like the pit and the skin. Like if I just rub that around on my skin, like the oils and whatnot from the avocado are so nourishing and nice. Look at the, the pit is like a basically like an applicator. Like mother nature was like, you need a skincare applicator that's also a delicious breakfast, lunch, and or dinner. Pay attention to those, those trouble areas. You don't want bags. Bags are gross. You know, like that's why people bring their own bags to the grocery store because like, bags are gross. I also am definitely like wrinkling between my eyebrows. So gross. I hate it. Hate it. So I definitely have to like really get in there. I know you're saying to yourself like why did we need to save the skin if like the pit is already such a good applicator and is like getting the avocado oils and whatnot like so nicely on our skin. And that's like a great question. Thank you for asking. That's because like the skin itself also has like some extra nourishing properties that I feel like are not contained in the pit. Like I'm not a scientist because like science is kind of gross. Like, I mean, it's like, you know, like I believe in it, but it's like also gross, you know, and like, I'm not into it. So it's just like, it's not like, I mean, I know I have to like think science for makeup. And so like, thank you science. But like, I, I didn't like do a study. Like I'm not a scientist. So I didn't like, I can't, I'm just like, this is like anecdotal. But like for me, I find like there are some nice properties like within the avocado skin itself. Just rub the avocado skin onto my skin. I'm just like dabbing that. Oh my God. Adorable. 
totes adorbs. Now we have the avocado applied and we just like want to give that like a little bit of time to like settle and like moisturize and just like, you know, just like really like help our skin to like thrive and shine. You know, it's like we're not trying to survive. We're trying to thrive. Let it like receive that. And like that's an important lesson about life too or whatever is like, you know, like be open to like receiving like what people are trying to give you or like what the universe is trying to give you and like in this moment like be open to receiving like those healing nourishing powers from the avocado don't just like rush through like the experience of like your skin soaking in this lovely like avocado-iness Okay, so, like, the next part of the process is, like, basically, I take a little bit of coconut water. Like, I know people are all gaga over coconut oil and stuff, but I'm like, uh, guys, I don't want to have oily skin. I want to have, like, refreshed skin, like, hydrated skin. Like, that's the goal. Like, hydrated is cute. Oily is gross. My favorite brand, personally, is the real taste nirvana uh premium coconut water so i take a little bit of the coconut water and i just pour it onto a paper towel here and then i'll just go ahead and start to use that to clean off you know the excess kado this is actually like you know it's my inside tip but like actually like i've heard you know, like, Gwyneth Paltrow and, like, the Goop team are also, like, really high on, like, coconut water and, like, using coconut water as part of a nighttime routine. Like, Goop approved, so, like, not just, like, totally crazy Patricia science, you know? The Kato oil is still there and still, like, refreshing us, but now we're also hydrating our skin with, like, essence of coconut water. I'll just do, like, one more little dab here because, like... <laughs> Two dabs is never enough. Um, <laughs> hey -oh. So freaking hydrated. Are you guys paying attention? Are you listening? Like, really, like, open your eyes and ears. The next step of my nightly routine is to, um, just to, like, drink a beer. Uh, because, and this is, like, a, this is a beer here. Patricia, like... I like wine, like I like red wine and I like white wine and I definitely like rosé all day. Beer is a bit gross and like, like aren't the carbs gonna make me like bloated? Listen, like all of that's true, but that's why you did your cardio today, girl or guy or whoever's watching this tutorial. This is an inclusive tutorial. So like do your cardio, eat your avocado toast and then have the beer because like this is really like I find like significant. The hops in the beer are like very refreshing to my eyes. Like I find my eyes are like much like like wetter and like glassier and just like have an extra sheen and pop like after I've drank in a beer. I know it's like gross because like beer is gross. It's not rosé. Oh my god, I wish White Claw had hops. I love White Claw. <sighs> White Claw. <sighs> White Claw. I love White Claw. So now we just like drink this beer, I guess. All right, guys. So now it's time for the next step in the process. And the next thing that we're going to do is just to like smoke a cigarette real quick. I just think it like really helps like you know, my, basically, like, my overall look and, like, cuteness. And so, like, I just have, like, a nice pack of, like, American Spirit yellows here. Go ahead and, like, light this up. Smoking is so cute. Oh my god, if there are any kids watching, it's not cute. It's disgusting. But like, the last two things I do before I, like, go night-night sleep tight, if you're like me and sometimes you have a few, like, careless extra hairs on your upper lip that are, like, totally gross, but it's just whatever. It's part of who you are. Um, what I like to do is just like take a little bit of like beard oil right here, apply it to those extra hairs, you know, because it makes them more supple to like pluck out or like shave off later. Take a little beard oil and like just put it on those few extra like, you know, troublesome hairs that sometimes you know, do pop out on my lip and on my chin, which I do not love. Thanks, Dad. The last step in the process, 
uh, before I go to bed and like I will go to bed like this like I will do this and like now it's time for night night sleep tight like time to like lay down my head and dream of my dog or of cute boys I'll take a little tissue like this and I'll just hold it in place here over my face um, and then I put these sunglasses on and people tell you like don't wear sunglasses at night don't wear sunglasses inside but like that's stupid like it is good for your skin and this is how I will go to sleep. Of course, like, if I had, like, a guy over, I probably wouldn't do this, like, full routine and, like, wear this. But it, when it's just me, like, whatever. It helps me to, like, not smile while I'm dreaming. And, like, I try not to smile because, of course, like, smiling makes wrinkles and wrinkles are gross. Now we're ready for bed. So, yeah, that's, like, the whole thing. And... So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do want to say like if you want to know more about like my beauty tips and secrets or like any of the ways that I take care of my hair or anything like get in the comments and like let me know like would you like to see more like a skincare or B like makeup or C like let me talk about like hair care. Um, let me know. Also like get in the comments and let me know do you agree with like the ideas I have behind my nighttime skin routine or do you disagree like let's start a conversation I love talking it's like one of my favorite things to do is to talk and so like let's talk like have a conversation like get in my comments and like oh my god of course like I love you forever if you hit the subscribe button like if you hit the subscribe I will be obsessed with you like I literally will love you like because you've loved me and like so then I can love you so like please hit that subscribe button like just hit it like oh my god hit it hit the subscribe button like please like do it that's it for me Patricia thank you guys again for like tuning in and supporting the show and like my beauty other than that just like have a great week and like be your best self and like just like love yourself because like that's the most important part of beauty is like loving yourself first and then after that like all of the tips and tricks come second because like if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna love somebody else so that's it shout out to mother rue shout out to all of you and that's like the whole show Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Do I make you horny, baby? Do I?